Hey everyone. So we had several people this past week come into chat asking about something and we were able to help them, but that's three people. I want to help all of you guys as well. Maybe you didn't have a chance to launch a campaign this week, but it could help next week. So this past week, a bunch of people were launching their um, Father's Day contests. And it doesn't matter if it's a Father's Day contest or any kind of campaign with social monials. There's a trick I want to show you. So here's the issue that they had. They clicked Save and Deploy, they grabbed the microsite URL, and they wanted to go share it on their Facebook page. So I'm at the Social Monials Facebook page. If I go and share this, it's gonna generate a uh, preview. So here's the preview image. Well, this is fantastic, but what if they really customized the design quite a bit and they want it to look a little different than this? There is a way to do that. And like, what if they don't want to call it Father's Day Photo Contest? What if they want to call it, you know, um, Acme, whatever the name of their company is, Father's Day Photo Contest? And they couldn't figure out how to change this preview. There's a way to do that. I'm going to jump back into Social Monials and go back to Design, scroll all the way down to Advanced Settings, and see this section SEO and OG Tags. OG tags stands for open graph tags. That's what Facebook and even LinkedIn, Twitter, they all use these tags to determine what to display as the preview of the link. And you can change that. So this is kind of a way of hacking what the um, OG tags are for your particular campaign. So you can make Facebook show whatever you want as the preview. Um, in my example, I told you that they might not want to see a Father's Day photo contest you could just as easily say Social Monials Father's Day Photo Contest. You could change the page description, the page keywords. This helps mainly with Google search if you want to get found. Most importantly though, you can select and upload a page image. So now you can select your page image um, that you want to use. We always include one. Um, our campaign templates are really ready to go, like meaning we didn't just create that design, we also turn it into your Facebook preview. We've come up with some pretty good page titles and descriptions and um, gotten it as close as we can. But if you start customizing a lot of different things, you probably will want to customize this too. And what we do is we just take a screenshot of the final design um, and then we upload that here as the page image. Now it's going to show that when you go to your Facebook preview. That is this week's tip, and I appreciate all of you guys. If you have any questions, come into chat. Maybe your question will be featured in an upcoming tip video.